Hey peeps, what's up? Punchy here, back with another video and Apple just released macOS Ventura version 13.2 for supported Macs. Now, even though we are running this on our MacBook Pro mid-2015, which is not supported by macOS Ventura officially, if you do want to install macOS Ventura on unsupported Macs, we do have a separate video for that, which you can find in the description of this. Video. So without any further delay, let us go ahead and see what is new in macOS Ventura version 13.2. So the first change you will notice is that you now have new wallpapers which have been added with the release of the new MacBook Pros 14 inch and 16 inch. So if you go into system settings and then you go into wallpaper, here it is. These are the new wallpapers which have been added with macOS Ventura 13.2 release and of course you can change the accent colors as well do you want it light or do you want it dark or do you want to be automatic based on the system theme then with respect to your desktop pictures a change you will notice is that they have been reordered so previously these cool looking images were first but now these textured backgrounds are first in the list next change you will notice is with respect to security so if i click on my apple id over here and on the next screen if i go into password and security herein you will see a new option called security keys so this is going to let you add security keys for your apple id and these here are physical security keys which are fido certified if you say add security keys it will tell you that you need two security keys because if you lose one of them then you should always have a backup and if you select how to choose the right security keys it is going to take you to this page and here then it will tell you all the details but you do need something which is you know either has nfc or USB C or a lightning port or usb a depending on the ports which are available on your macbooks now how this is going to work is that you have to sign in with your apple id that is your first authentication using your password and then you will have to attach your physical security key to your macbook so that you can then sign into your apple id so that will be your multi-factor authentication working like a boss on your macbooks with physical security keys next up if we go back to our apple id and herein if you go into icloud you will notice that this option of advanced data protection previously it was us only now this is available worldwide so with your advanced data protection icloud is going to encrypt your data to keep it secure and this is your end-to-end -end encryption and here are the apps or the data for which you have your advanced data protection or end-to-end -end encryption enabled then another thing which apple has enabled with mac os ventura 13.2 on macbooks is your rapid security response so let me first tell you how to check for this so if you go into general then you go into software update and then you tap on this eye over here you will see a new toggle for install security responses and system files so what is this well this is going to let apple update your macbook without having to push out a full system update if they find something which requires a rapid response they can now send out updates which are not full system updates maybe like a few mbs 100 mb 200 mb depending on the fix and you don't have to wait for a full os update they can be done in no time and this will let apple fix security issues pretty quickly on your macbooks other than that with respect to security they have also made around 20 or more security fixes 
to the latest macOS Ventura 13.2 update. Other than that, for your fixes, they have fixed an issue with freeform when some drawing strokes created with Apple Pencil or your finger may not appear on shared boards. And they also fixed an issue where voiceover may stop offering audio feedback while you are typing. So there it is, peeps. That is what was new in macOS Ventura 13.2.